Uh, Matthew Wallace Roy. Matthew Wallace is a writer, New York Post. He's written an article uh, this week which has shocked me. He says basically Australians don't like Americans. I think that's the tenor of his thesis. I find it hard to imagine. And you, as you can hear from the audience, groan. Groaning disbelief. Groaning disbelief, yes. Could this be true, Roy? I find it very hard to believe, HG, when it comes. Look, look. Australians, New Zealanders, and Americans are friends under the one umbrella, umbrella of ANZUS. Yes, people forget that. The ANZUS <laughs> Pact. Uh, we've been uh, in the trenches together over the years. We're very, very good friends. Uh, the best friends we have in the world are the New Zealanders. <laughs> And the Americans. Mm. But actually, I always say friendship comes at a cost. Yes. Yes. And that cost is honesty. Yes. <laughs> you've, got to be fr you've got to be honest if you, to be a true friend. Mm. And I, I, while individually Americans are very, uh, you know, enjoyable people, uh, modest people, quite lovely yes. people. We've yes. met lovely Americans. Individually, they're very fine. Yeah. It's just en masse. <laughs> One can be slightly, I think, critical. They are, they are loud, uh. ignorant, uh. self-obsessed, uh. to the point of narcissism. Mm. Uh, they are inward-looking, mm. uh, barren, mm. uninteresting, mm. and incapable of seeing any of these qualities that so puts the world against them wherever they go. Mm. They wonder why they are so disliked. It's just that they can't see it. And that is their major stupidity. That is the, that is, that is the fatal flaw of Americans. Individually, they're wonderful people. Wonderful. It's just in toto. I mean, get any more than two. It's all down. And I'm sorry.